PFE is, a, is, a, is an amazing thing to be involved with. I love working with the different and interesting folks on the board. We we all come from different different backgrounds. We have different interests, and yet somehow we every year manage to put together a, a program that looks recognizably, recognizably like a Perth Festival of the Arts. Um, that hopefully appeals to a wide range of uh, a wide range of audience goers. I also love um, that being part of the festival allows uh, allows us to play our part in the civic and cultural life of, of Perth and Kinross. And the, the the last bit of this is <laughs> I'm a fan. So the chance to see all these wonderful performers and artists in Perth at the concert hall and the theatre in St John's or whatever we're putting on our events is amazing. Work has obviously been very challenging. We haven't been able to go into the library for a number of weeks now, um, but I've still been able to do some work from, from home. Um, I've been doing some work on early years things especially and helping. I've got a friend who's a primary teacher in Blair and she asked if I would record some stories for her P1 pupils. So we've done that, which is which was fun. Um, other than that, um, I've been walking lots. Um, I've been back out on my bike cycling quite a, quite a lot. We've been so lucky with the great weather that we've had over the last few weeks. Um, I've been reading and I've been listening to lots and lots of different types of music. I'm going to do a bit of show and tell here, if I may be permitted. There are, and I'll pick three albums at the moment. Um, the first two are by bands who I hope one day we will see on the bill of Perth Festival of the Arts. Um, the first one um, is an album which came out I can't remember if it was the beginning of this year or late last year. Um, it's called Waves and Strays by the great young Scottish jazz band uh, Fat Suit. They make wonderful, accessible, modern jazz. Um, absolutely great. Big tunes, great fun. This is fabulous music to listen to both through the speakers and um, when you're out walking in the headphones. Something a bit different, but still fun and still Scottish. Um, the debut album by uh, the brilliantly named Tom Maguire and the Brass Holes. This is funky, soulful. Um, almost couldn't believe that they're Scottish. They sound really, really American, um, but it's great fun. The tunes are fabulous, and I've been listening to this almost non-stop since I first heard about it last year. And completely different. Um, but great fun, uh, and this would be a bit of a dodgy pleasure as well. Um, I'm a great fan of um, 1980s American metal and, and hard rock music, and although this is British and from the 70s, it's called The Butterfly Ball and the Grasshopper's Feast by Roger Glover and Friends, and it's got um, loads and loads of really well-known um, Guys who are hard rock singers, um, for those of you who know, Ronnie James Dio, David Coverdale, people like that, um, singing this weird, vaguely orchestral um, kind of stuff. Um, it's not the type of thing I normally listen to, but it's been a dodgy pleasure of mine since I was a kid. Um, and there it is, the butterfly. Well, sitting behind me here is my uh, is my tuba, um, which belongs to the band I'm a member of, Perthshire Brass. Um, I've been practicing a, a fair bit whilst uh, whilst lockdown has been going, going on. I don't know if my neighbours are entirely happy about that, but you know, um, I've also been going out and playing some tunes at the uh, eight o'clock Thursday night NHS clap. There aren't any. It started out as a Pipers thing, there aren't any Pipers on our street, so they've been subjected to me playing my tuba for the last few weeks. Um, whilst the band can't play, we've been recording some at-home videos. We've released one already on YouTube, 
um, where we played um, an arrangement of Uptown Funk and I'm recording this on the morning of the 21st of May and tomorrow night 22nd at 7pm uh, Persia Brass are going to premiere our next at home video that we've all recorded in our own rooms sent in video files and um, one of the clever boffins in the band has edited it all together to hopefully sound like we're playing the same piece of music. Entertaining, educational, inspirational.